Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. My name's Scroft, I know it sounds nothing like me, I just sound very posh, but I am trying my best currently. And uh, today we're back on Alma with, uh, with Beanie and hopefully we're going to do some farming and farming related activities. <laughs> I, I don't sound posh. Like, that's I know. Straight away, but, I am not like a hello to the pip, tell you. That's not me, right? I was trying to, I was trying to go deeper, but I am useless at accents and useless at impersonations unless I'm doing a posh voice. So yeah. Yeah, fair play. I mean, you sound, you made me sound proper posh, and like most people that watch me, from, especially from the UK, they just think I'm from the North, North, like. He's from the north, uh, you know, but I'm Midlands. actually Midlands, really. Yeah, yeah. Peak District. Which do exist. Yeah, yeah. they do. Um, now, you sounded a bit like Joanna Lundley. I do apologise. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. I'll, ta I'll take that, I guess. <laughs> anyway, now time for the proper in intro, eh? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, that was a cracking intro. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, it was good. I'll give it a. I'll give it an eight out of ten. I think you can do better, especially Is a that better accent. What you say? Me, I go. Hey, everybody! Welcome back to Farming Simulator Twenty Two. Scroft here, and I'm with Beanie, and we're on Alma. Some of that. I was, I was close, son. Yeah. I you mean, if you want like me a... to do the Irish I'm not one again. <laughs> no, it's it's more the accent that I give an eight to. The, you know, yeah. the intro was like, I'll give it a 10. But the ac the accent, you can do better than Thank that. You. We both know. I mean, do you remember for the Christmas special how yeah. painful it was listening to me try and do the Susanna? Irish. You did really yeah. well, eventually. We had a trigger word, eventually. which was George. Get George! George, you've forgotten your court. <laughs> that was it, exactly. See, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Although so, I spent the day at work listening to uh, dialect lessons for how to speak in an Irish accent. <laughs> see, that you, you can't fault the prep work. It has to happen. Exactly. The amount of times I've done that, I'm working on an accent now, and I don't even know if I'm going to bring it into the farmhand, but I'm working on it. So when I do, it's really hopefully good and convincing. And I haven't worked yeah. on it for months. like Just so when I do need to put a character in that is maybe a future main character, you know, I can, uh, I can do it. And I think it's a proper good, you know, farming accent as well, so... Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're right, my lover. Exactly. That's it. For the greater good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hello there, my lovely, you're right. That kind of style accent. Yeah. Anyway. Right. So, instead of faffing, because we're completely faffing now, digressing yeah. off the point of this. Right. Today's episode, episode three, we're actually, first just want to say, we're actually recording this a lot earlier than what we normally would. We usually do one mm -hmm. a week, but we've done one two days ago, but we're going away for a few days for your birthday in Wales. Woo -woo. I know, exactly. Yeah. Happy birthday to Beanie. Um, Thank you very much. So we're going to, to Wales, and this is actually going to be coming out next yeah, next Wednesday. So uh, it's not been a few, you know, it's only been a couple of days, basically. So you should still be pretty spot on and not forgot, because I know last time you were, we practiced the, the picking and, and well, loading and unloading bales. You practiced that. Uh, but, you, you know, you said you were, it was a little bit more tricky than the first time, and I think that was just because you left it a week before coming back on yeah. the game. So hopefully this time round, you know, you should be straight into it, no problems at all. Fingers crossed. Yeah, Fingers I'm crossed. confident. You'll be fine, I promise you. Uh, but yeah, hopefully um, we'll see all the comments while we're out there anyway so we can respond oh. back to everyone. Uh, but in That's this one, we're going to be doing hay. We're going to finish off a hay because we have progressed into day one September. Um, because of that, the grass or alfalfa has grown back to stage one. So because we cut and we left it on the ground, we dried it and tedded it, which we did off camera when we were practicing, um, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see. So we're going to row it up, get it bailed, because at some point I want to show you the the animal side of things, but we're going to need the feed for that. So we're going to need to make some silage. I have put a load of money in because, like I said, this is just for you to learn the game. So yeah. money shouldn't restrict us really, especially as you're learning. So I've bought a patch of grassland i've bought a load of productions just so we can try stuff out i did mention to you that we're probably not going to try all the productions because yeah. you know we can learn that as we go into future series of the survival series which we've been talking about is a really good idea and i'm looking forward to that so i think you'll learn a lot then it's like they say when you're doing your driving lessons you don't actually learn how to drive until you've passed your test Yes, and I think which this is, is very a, true. Exactly. So this is a bit like that. You, you know, these are your driving lessons, but eventually when you pass, you'll learn the game proper when you 
properly playing it with the rules in place, like, you know, no unlimited money and so on. I wish um, my bank account was like that. I do. I do. That'd be cracking. A lot better. It really would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree there. But if only, if only. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll do grass work in this one. We'll kind of alfalfa it. We're going to start the sorghum harvest. We'll see how, because it's a big field, we'll see how long that goes. We've been doing a bit of productions, but I think we'll just kind of focus on the productions. We could do them all, but there is a few extras on this map as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll just try our hand with that at some point, but maybe just use the corn that we've got and the sorghum that we've got. And we've already got wheat flour, so we can work from there for you to understand productions. Uh, yeah. I said animals, definitely. Uh, the feeding of animals, what comes with that like slurry, manure, you know, using straw bed and all that stuff. Um, and then I think that the last bit that I'd say you probably need to learn before we go into because there's loads of little different aspects to the game that, you know, like being a farm manager as well, like managing what you want to do and how you want to go about things. That's something that I think you could just get with time the more you've done. So, yeah. yeah, it's not something you'll learn straight away. It's just something that you'll pick up. Oh, that worked really well for me. I'll do that again kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I I did think coming into this, that was probably going to be the most tricky part for me. Because, you know, you just get in a vehicle, you drive it. Yeah. Most of the time, you don't crash it. But yeah. actually, like, trying to plan out and figure out what you're going to do, how you're going to get to that, it was just it's a bit overwhelming, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. It's a big game. You know, it is a big game. There's a lot to it. Um, some, you know, people do think it's just getting a harvester and harvest the field, and that is true. But then you've got all the production side to that. You've got the baling side of that, and then you've got planning out your crop next time around. If you use precision farming, you need to make sure that the, the field's right. You want to check your potential yield and that soil type, expected yield, what you you know, and kind of seeing what you want to do because it's all about making money at the end of the day. This game is about making money, buying the best things at the end, and knowing that you kind of completed it. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I've never, I wouldn't ever say I've completed it. I've always just kind of started off with a low farm and, you know, like British farmers around here, they're not millionaires, are they? They struggle. No. S yes, no. exactly. Very few that make, you know, the money that you'd be like, oh my God, about that's it. thing. So when I play the game, I kind of play with, it's a reward just get a nice tractor once in a while and I'm making a bit of money just to tie me over and then eventually... I try and do you know something that's pretty cool, like maybe get a nice harvester or whatever. Whereas my mm. court farm series that I'm doing now, I am actually trying my best to make a load of money and get a big field and, and progress that way. Um, so I do enjoy it that way, but I don't want to start off with 15 million pounds in the bank account and then... <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> what you just sorry. Done? <laughs> I pressed the button. <laughs> you randomly just turned into a lumberjack and then just jogged on. Oh, there you are. I found you. <laughs> Bye. I don't like starting off with loads of money, basically, and I, I like to yeah. work up to it, So, which, which is why I think a survival series will work out well. Uh, so, like I said, you'll learn a lot of it after that. It's just hopefully you'll enjoy the game in this part, playing it together, and then you'll learn enough to go into it and think, I've got a few ideas of how to make money together, you know, as we as we progress from nothing. Yeah, cool. definitely. Right, so, can you remember the alfalfa and what we did? Uh, was that the one we were getting ready to put into round bales? That's it, exactly, yeah. So, we, if you remember, we mowed it, and then we dried yeah. it out by using a tedder. Yeah. Um, and then it's now just needs rowing up, so putting into rows, so when you can do the baling with the round baler, I'll do the, the rowing, and then when you go over it, you just put, make it into bale format, dropping them out. But it's going to be a little different, because with a round bale, you have to stop um right so normally with a square bale you'll carry on but if you have to stop because i've got a mod on that'll help you but if i didn't have that mod what would happen is you drive along and then you just wouldn't be picking up anything you'd notice and then you'd have to reverse back and start again from where you you didn't realize that it stopped picking up so it's yeah. a little bit different in that regard and then you might have to you know just drop the bale out and so on um but yeah it's it's still the same it's just a round bale instead of a square one yeah okay Right, so even though it's actually September day one and we've got rain, we're going to make this hay anyway, but normally we wouldn't do that in real life, obviously, because we need the sun and really to dry it out, so it'd be really bad hay, but we're going to just finish it off because, you know, it's a waste, and we need the feed so you can learn the animals, so I'll carry on rowing up. If you want to just go around the edges where you think I've rowed, like you can see this is now rowed up and it's fine. Yeah. Um, these 
this section in the middle you can see that it's not not very good so if you want to do that now make sure you pick the biggest bale size so i think the go up i'm trying to remember now i think it's 180 is the biggest round bale size you can get okay uh... so when you start your engine and you should see an option in that f1 yeah, menu for 180. You. that's good then so you've already got 180 set uh, so all you need to do is just lower it down turn it on and crack on with it you'll see that it will get full i should i can't remember if i've got the mod on that'll help you stop automatically so you don't have to worry about it. uh but it's good practice anyway if not yeah there we go then bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt exactly i mean it's a weird one to do hay right now while it's raining but just i know typical. i i can't believe it wasn't raining for you in the beginning because it was for me and yeah. I was thinking you don't make hay in rain. <laughs> no, I know, but it was. I could see that it said rain in the weather. It was saying that it was raining, but I just didn't get the visuals of it. And I think that's just because of multiplayer. Sometimes oh. that happens. Yeah. You okay. Yeah, I'm. Uh... Did it stop automatically for you? No. No. So you had to stop, yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay. oh, maybe. I don't. Do I have to unload it? Uh, yes. Yeah, there we go then. It's when it's... I was wondering... <laughs> say again, sorry. Sorry. I was just going to say I was wondering why it wasn't coming out. Yeah, you have to manually l unload it. It's not like a square baler. Um, but sometimes, like I said, I've got a mod on basically that will help you stop. But really, you should be stopping. If you're playing base game-wise, say you're playing on console right now, you couldn't yeah. have that mod because it's a script mod. So... Um, you'd have to stop or else you'd just carry on driving over the row and you'd notice that it's not picking up anymore because the bale's full, basically, and it can only hold one bale in the chamber. Yeah. I heard it bleep him, which yeah. is why why I stopped. But you want to check if it will stop. Just try it, because I know I've got a, a mod that's a uh, oh, yeah, round baler extension that should just stop it automatically. won't allow you to drive on, which is really helpful, because if you... Say you got on course control... Uh, course control, sorry. If you're on cruise control, then that's really useful because you can just set it to cruise control you can do what i do which is probably just listen to a bit of music or even an audio book or whatever and then yeah you, you know you can just it'll stop for you and you can drop the bail you can even set it to automatically drop the bail oh really there should be an option for you to to do that um did i just miss I missed a bit then yeah I won't worry too much about that. We don't have to be dead super tidy in this. Like I said, it is just you learning the game at this point, and uh, you know we don't have to take it deadly serious about money and stuff like that. But when we do the survival series, that will be like a challenge. We're going to start off with pretty much nothing, and yeah. you know we might even just have like a tiny little dream tractor of mine, which is like a one three five, and yeah. then like maybe even a I don't even know. I don't even think we should have a harvest. I think we should just start off with like chainsaws and and uh, maybe a really old sickle bar mower and then a couple of tractors, maybe a really old trailer. So we know we're going to start off by trying to make money from either cutting grass and then uh, selling it as grass because we're not going to be able to turn it into hay or anything else. Uh, or we could use uh, you know the chainsaws, which is probably the best way to go for money and uh, do some logging but we, we haven't got the equipment to pick up big logs so we're gonna have to pick it up in like realistic sizes that we can carry yeah so i know you just had some issues with lag and then you got disconnected but you're back in the game now boop, boop. there you go um but what i was saying about the survival series is the logging and you know we'll have two options like maybe like doing a bit of grass work but then yeah the logging there's a, a modder that's not long joined my discord server and his name's timmy and he's released two mods to mod up he's a really good modder in fact he knows his stuff really well he's a uh, good at script mods and yeah. uh, he's made a mod that would be really useful for a survival series because it kind of showcases uh how like say if you want to pick a size or length of how you want to cut uh, like a log it kind of like showcases it so we'll definitely add that in it's it'll be easy to show you than explain it but it's really useful for, if you want to constantly just cut smaller pieces that you're going to carry because uh, you're starting off without the right equipment yeah so okay. you know we could be chopping down trees and putting them to the right length and then just loading them onto a trailer and just driving the trailer 
to a sell point for wood and then yeah what was your yeah. uncle i know i did a bit of that on um on your multiplayer that's how yes. the log in yeah that was the, i think that was the first thing you ever did in fs wasn't it um i did a little bit on the start game um i think i made some bales like this out to harvest it and that's when you got me to try and reverse the dolly trailer yeah <laughs> uh, still don't remember which that. was <laughs> horrific <laughs> Yeah, but you, no one's ever been able to <laughs> reverse a dolly trailer. There's probably someone out there that's really good at it, but I think it's it's basically it's a trailer that's not made for, not not made to be in a game. I mean, in real life, you're probably really slow and taking your time, but yeah. that you just can't do it. It's it's cruel. <laughs> dolly trailers are cruel. Definitely. I think you did that to poor old me on my first ever, you know, proper go on the game. Well, baptism by fire. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Straight in at the deep end. That's it. No, it wasn't that bad. You, you were you were logging for ages as well, though. Oh, it was so satisfying. I think I caused a couple of issues because I was just... Yeah. No, the issue you had, Beanie, was you chopped too many trees down for the <laughs> multiple players that were on the server <laughs> and caused a load of lag. <laughs> <laughs> so what everyone can was I say? one woman show. <laughs> you got too happy with a chainsaw, which is quite worrying, really. <laughs> it was very satisfying. What can I say? Right? Why <laughs> does why does this keep happening when I'm trying to go over the row? The yeah. baler just keeps sliding to the side. Um, what just done. Um, two seconds. Ah. Where about sorry? I'm gonna to run to you because it's easier. I'm right down the bottom. Right, well what row? This row here? Yeah, so like I'll be lined up going over it like this, and then the baler, it's like it just slides off. It's probably hitting the ground. Can you just see now? Going. It's yeah, kind just, of do just, it. just if you if it misses it, it's because of the, the slope, it's just not hitting the Yeah, it's it's not happy basically, but it's all good. You might have to just lift the tool up and then drop it back down again. Okay. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean by that, don't you? Lifting the tool up and dropping it, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yes. Lift the pick up. That's it. It just might be, yeah, just sometimes some mods and balers especially they'll kind of like dig into the ground on certain areas like if it's not level i mean there's some that don't do that at all it doesn't matter about the the uh the kind of like the ground that you're working on but i yeah. think that's it's got to be that really because there's no collisions there right so i've done with the wind drone how are you getting on i'm doing all right i think nice, i'm just nice. uh plodding along Okay, well I've got a second baler here, we're both doing 180s and I'm going to just start on the the inner kind of passes that I've done so you're on the headland passes. I have noticed as well, we're actually doing crop damage to this alfalfa, I don't know if you can notice it, so the first growth stage we're we? putting it back into, to, yeah, to, um, like a, I think it's like a harvest slash cut, I think it would be classified as. Oh. That's pretty cool. What, that we're damaging it? It's just cool that it shows that effect. Like some, uh -huh. you know, obviously it doesn't show that on grass. You can't do grass damage really, but you, you know, there is crops that do the, the crop damage, but yeah, I didn't expect the alfalfa to. So I, I think it's personally cool, but then again, that's just me being me. Yeah, but no, it's, uh, yeah, it's graphics. <laughs> It's I don't graphics. really know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nice, a nice addition to it because, you know, even though we're not going to work in this, obviously you'd be like mowing this straight. Uh, sorry, we'd be bailing this in straight after we mowed it. So it would already be in that kind of growth stage anyway. Um, it's only because we've let it go into the next month and it's progressed where the grass is growing a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. It's like got a little buzz cut. Exactly. How are you getting on then? 
enjoying it. Yeah. It's, uh, it doesn't hold very much, does it, in the bale? No, no, not at all. Um, I think the 180, with it being the biggest bale size, is, yeah, I mean, it's luxury, really, because some, some of the silage bales in the 125s hold about 3,500 litres. Because it's all about, really? yeah, density. So you've got to think that um, a silage is more wet and it's heavier, so it holds yes. less volume in. Um, whereas a hay, a hay is more, it's obviously drier, so it's hmm. got more volume in it because it can be compacted more without it being too heavy. Yeah. Um, and then straw is even lighter than hay, so that's mm -hmm. usually the biggest volume you'll see. So when you do straw bales in round four, format, mm -hmm. I think they're about 10,000, about that, at 180. Um, hay and probably just a little bit behind, whereas silage, I think it's only about, I can't remember exactly, but... It must be about six six thousand maybe for a, a 180 silage bale base game because I've done some changes to that. I've edited it, made them heavier anyway, just because I think you know a bale yeah. in real life. You've seen them; they're massive, aren't they? They're dead heavy. You can't oh, shift them huge. at all. No, I mean the ones that we had for the horses, they were relatively small for bale size, and you could barely lift them. Wow, well, yeah. I am pretty weak, but you know, no, still you could barely lift them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is not a bad size. Like, it isn't. Like, I'm already 8,000. I think, what, they're going to finish over 9,000 about that? Yeah, 9,000. So that's, 9, not, that's not a bad size at all. It really isn't. Um, like like I said, some of the silage bales are three and a half. And, yeah, they're, they're small. You get a lot of them. And it means, you, you, it means you're handling more as well, so there's more work involved. Yeah. So it's, it makes your life easier by making a bigger bale. But the problem is... Only certain balers make the the biggest size. Right. Okay. So you have but, to have like a specific one. Yeah, just some type. Some some do, some don't. I mean, most of the bales we see in in the UK, you know, the silage bales, the wrapped ones, are the smaller size bales, but they look yeah. massive to us because you know, in real life, it's different. Okay. And three and a half thousand liters is obviously not the normal measurement. They come in kilograms, you know. Yeah. Most are weighed in tons or kilograms. Um, so yeah, and it's all about dry matter mainly. Hay and and silage is determined by dry matter. Right. I'm not going to go into all that stuff. No, you're probably frying my brain. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just it's. It's irrelevant for this game. It's it's not that in depth. As much as I wish it was, it's just not that in depth. So, yeah. I mean, there's a mod called Maze Plus that can technically, um, yeah. Basically, Maze Plus is a game changer for me. It's a must-have mod because of the fact that it's it changes the way you feed your animals, changes all types of feed, loads of stuff like that, and crops as well. Um, but I kept it out because it is a little bit complicated and I thought it'd be best to just show you the base game and then maybe yeah. we can use Maze Plus in the future. It's just for... Say again, sorry. <laughs> I was just going to say start with the basics and work your way up from there. Yeah, because in base game you can literally just make straw, hay and silage. Yeah. That's it. You can also do chaff, which is technically like a silage, but it's made from corn and it's in a bunker. Oh, so yeah. it's just a different way of making silage. Um... Whereas with maize plus, you can make whole crop, you can make um, maize silage bales, you can do, yeah, there's, there's just a load more feeding elements to it. All your animals feed probably more realistic, you know. Uh, there's just loads of different ways to play the game with it and feed, and I, and I much prefer it. Yeah. It's kind of like a must have mod for me, usually, when I'm playing. I, I've, I've heard you talk about it before, um, but yeah, I've. I've don't really well didn't really know what it did kind of thing it just changes the it just adds more ways and more realistic ways to feed your animals and it also changes some of the kind of like way we use crops in the game so yeah it's it's really good yeah, well, i think we're done. done we've missed a few little bits but it doesn't really matter about them too much yeah we've made a lot That's of bales fair. there haven't we just a few does that mean we've got to do more of them grabby things? Yeah, but what we could do is 
we'll, we'll move over to the sorghum har harvest because it is going to take a long time. So we may okay. as well start on that. Um, uh, but what we can do, I'm thinking about it. Should, uh, there's a semi auto load trailer that's like a base game one that's like a mechanically auto load trailer. So a mechanical auto load trailer. Whereas there's a cheat kind of mod thing that you can get that's just auto load, whereas it just drives past and it kind of spawns it onto the trailer. So it's really useful oh, for people that okay. don't like doing manual loading and unloading. But there's kind of like a middle ground that is realistic because they do exist where it's like a mechanical arm that grabs a bale, lifts it up, places it. So we can use them if you want to, or you can use the, the auto load. It's uh, entirely up to you on that one. It just made me think of uh, the claw. What? No. The claw. What? The claw. <laughs> I can't do the, the voice they do. From Toy Story, the little alien things. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I was going to ask you to put your arms up then, just check you're having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, no, no <laughs> strokes. I can't no. smell toast. No. Although I do like a bit of toast. Yeah, me too. Can't go wrong with toast. How the hell no. are we talking about toast? <laughs> um, tangents. There you go then. Yeah. Right, are we ready for the harvest now, Beanie? I think so. You know where the field is? Yeah, I found it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not massive at all. <laughs> it's it's only small, honest. A tiny, you know. <laughs> exactly. Barely worth it. I mean what we could do if you want, just for a bit of fun, is we could try and well we can get rid of these two harvesters and just see what the biggest harvesters are and go for them. I mean, if you want to, I don't mind. Well, I think it'd be fun just because I actually don't really ever use the the biggest and best equipment so why not why not make why a bit not? of change to it treat ourselves um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look in the store um and just go to tools and i'm going to pick the biggest header on offer which is 18.3 meters i think it is okay what are the size that we've got now uh that is a cracking question two seconds and i'll be able to find that out i think yeah, you've got 13.7, and I've got, um, I think mine's a lot smaller, to be honest, because I went for a, kind of like a medium size. Yeah, mine's 8.5 meters, so obviously if we go over to the 18.3 meters, you know, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So will it go on this harvester still? Uh, no, I think I'll need to get a new harvester. This is a massive. Okay. These are crazy, honestly. Carry wind system, dual float. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. It's like futuristic. You sound like a kid in a sweet shop. <laughs> well, I am eating jelly beans, so, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you've nipped my jelly beans. <laughs> Is that what's happening? I've nicked your, uh, your blooming strepsils. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Right, there's two headers here. They are huge. So what I'm going to do is spawn in two harvesters, and we'll start like and uh, uh, like I'll go to the, the right hand side of you. You can do to the edge of the field because I think it might be a little bit easier to start okay. with. So if you just want to move, if as long as your harvest is out the way, that should yeah. be okay. Um, I don't know if there has to be a certain harvester for this. I'm hoping there doesn't, or else yeah, that's not going to be oh ideal. Oh my goodness! I know. That is crazy. Tell me about it. Ooh. So I'll spawn in two harvesters. You can go first. I'm just, again, going to go right to the end and see what we've got on offer here. Okay. Why don't we go for a John Deere? If Noel's not watching, we both apologise because we know you hate John Deeres. What's he got against John Deere? Uh, do you know what? That's a good question. I don't really know. Just doesn't no, like please them. answer my question. <laughs> What's wrong with John Deere's? He's a case. He says it's you know it's red. He goes for the red. So, well, if it ain't red, wait, what was it? If it ain't red, keep it in the shed. Exactly, that's the one. That's the badger. I'm gonna go for a US version here. I'm gonna max it out. It's weird to do this because I'm usually quite you know stingy and <laughs> very strict <laughs> on stuff. So yeah. Very frugal. Yeah. Well, if I've got the money, I'll spend it, but I've never got the bloody money. 
Yeah. Touche. I know. I don't true, do story, true story. True <laughs> story. I haven't actually used one of them, so there you go. Bloody true story that is, I'm telling you. True story. There we go. Right, so this... Oh. That was 1.2 million to buy that both of them. Yeah, you know, sounds just, about right. Yeah, just pocket what are change. Those? Oh, it's like you wouldn't something or another. It's like you what, sorry? Uh, oh no, I don't want to turn. Oh, that's on. Oh god, I'm getting confused. Um, oh no. You wind, windrow? Wow, that is so insane. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, what are we doing about carting? First you need to unfold the tool. I'm just going to... Uh, carting, I'll handle carting. You just let me know when it's full and I'll do that. Okay. Is, did you bring the truck back? You did, didn't you? Yes. And cool. the big bale tractor. Nice. Um, I'm just trying to figure out this first time I've ever used it as well. And I want to make sure... Got know what you're doing. Yeah, so basically, what you'll need to do is unfold your harvester first. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, that's reverse. And then, if you want to drive up to the header and just connect to that, it's crazy these headers are. It's got like a vacuum on it and a must draw through somehow. So, hopefully, it'll have some cool sound effects or, or even oh just visuals. God. It's a honeybee. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. So um, you need to unfold that now because it does have a folding thing on. And then you need to lift it up. Okay. And make sure we're not dropping straw because we don't want to be doing straw with sorghum. Yeah, that's off. Cool. And then just off you go. Start on the left-hand side there. The field oh, go dear. clockwise because your pipe needs to be on the left if you remember me t talking to you about that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, off, yeah. Happy when you are, and then I'll go to the right hand side of you. Okay, okay. Um, are you having fun there? Yes, I think so. You, you right. can lift it up now, and then okay. when you get to just to the edge of the, the field boundary, you can start. Do you want me to move that trailer out of the way? I think I've managed to get around it. There you go. Thank you. It's all right. Uh, okay, that should be. Um, I can't actually believe that these exist. These X nines—they're insane. I mean, the 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 actual harvester itself holds half of what the truck does. Seriously. Yeah. Blimey! Oh wow, that's uh, very orange. Yeah, you can't really tell very well, can you, when you've harvested it? No, oh, it looks like I've got um, what's it dust coming <laughs> into the harvester. <laughs> well, did you not know this is what what's it is? It's sorghum. Yeah, I think you just winded me up there. Honestly, would I lie to you? This is we are basically harvesting what's it's, or for our American friends, Cheetos. Oh, the flaming hot Cheetos. They are. Nice. Or flaming hot what's it's which ones? Oh, you know what? I've got to go for the Cheetos. Yeah. The what's it's are very close second, but yeah. I don't know, but cheesy what's it's. Or the prawn cocktail ones. They're they're good. Yeah. I don't know why mine just stopped harvesting. Oh. Is yours? No. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the ground still, but yeah, you're not harvesting again. Oh. It is now. There's just a gap there. It really doesn't like that area. Don't know why. Have you managed to break it already? <laughs> I don't know. It just it didn't oh. like. I'm not used to this kind of equipment. I think that's what it is. Have you had the same issue? Yeah. Uh... It might be because of the way the ground formed it's you know sometimes you need it to be quite level so yeah. if, uh, my advice just drive just drive over it until it starts harvesting again and we okay. can try and come at it from another angle we will do a bit of crop damage but what i'll quickly just do is turn oh, crop damage off right okay 
So there you go. Crop destruction is off. And if I turn left now and it works for me going uphill, it's definitely the terrain. It's too much of a curve. Yeah. And it is working. So, yeah, it's just the curvature. Okay. I think this will be a perfect time to stick in a bit of a time lapse. What do you think? I agree. Get a good yeah. song on. You know. Yeah. Get it's a good song good. on. <laughs> yeah. You're good at picking the music, though. Well, thank you. I'll give you I mean, that. sometimes I spend way too long picking music, but I always think that I'd want to. If I if I'm putting music in a video and I expect people to listen to it, enjoy it, I also need to enjoy it myself. So I'm not just going to throw anything in there um, because if I don't enjoy it and it's not a good song, then I can't expect anyone else to think that too. It's difficult though because everyone has a different taste in music. So mm. yeah, it's not the easiest thing to to manage, but I try my best. I think you do a cracking job, Scroft. <laughs> thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> On with the time lapse. <laughs> Right, so how do you think you're getting on so far? I'm enjoying this. It's very chill. There was a bit of stress at the start for me just because I couldn't, for the life of me, get back in the harvester by the time I was 
done all the unloading and then <laughs> yeah. you you'd filled up again and i had to change the the trailer out because that one was just a nightmare just to get it to yeah work with that kind of auger but this one's a lot better it's bigger and yeah it kind of tips from the back which i kind of prefer so what 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 are you thinking are you enjoying it yeah i mean i just uh had a bit of the the radio on just chilling it's very satisfying and just like you say therapeutic honestly I, I, I definitely understand it now just That's good. i'm glad yeah. i really am Do you know, this good as well you're saying about the radio we were both listening to the radio and talking because you can tune into the same radio station as me in yeah. game and then i think that's really cool because i've done that before in multiplayer with a few people that we just joined on and we were actually having a few beers at the same time <laughs> and uh it was such a good laugh it's one of the things i always go back to because i was with a few friends from the discord some some of the team that have helped me out setting up multiplayer servers and moderators and all that and uh, we were playing, not recording, it was just for a bit of fun. We were having a couple beer, uh, beers and um, we had the radio on and we were sending in uh, suggestions. So people were saying, oh, I'm on Scroft's uh, multiplayer server, we're just doing this and so on and whatever. And then they were suggesting songs. And yeah, I, I'll never forget when YMCA came on and oh. Scrooge McUnicorn was just loving it. Cracking, <laughs> cracking song. Yeah. Oh, so, brilliant. That sounds like a good laugh, to be fair. It, it was a good laugh. It really was. And it's it just makes the radio much better if you're playing with someone and they can tune in together because, you you know, you've got the same song going on. Yeah. No, it's it's nice that you've got the, uh, not availability, but the, you know, that you can do that kind of thing. Yeah, well, it is availability, really, because most games don't offer that. I mean, it's a lot of simulation games that have these dedicated sim radios i think like the sim radios we're listening to then were mainly for people that play truck sim fm so that's a massive game and people take that so seriously where they do like yeah. haulage companies and yeah i mean there's a lot of players that play fs people that watch my channel that are mad on on truck sim and there's american truck sim and then there's like the european slash uk uh, truck sim and it is a massive thing honestly really yeah really is to be fair i remember when you showed me uh what your flight simulator yeah that was pretty fun although i was very disappointed that if you crashed the plane it didn't explode you know I just mean, kind of bad <laughs> just says it all yeah i mean normally <laughs> when playing flight sim you don't really want to crash the plane but i get that because it is it is fun i, I what i like about flight sim is when you're flying over you're flying over like real world places you can see your own house for example stuff like that. i love that kind yeah. of google maps feature to it where it's easy actually based on the real world so, you, so technically you can fly anywhere in the world and it'll take you the exact amount of time so i love that side to it wait so if you flew to australia you'd have to sit there for like 12 hours is uh, that how long more it like takes? 24 hours i think it is to oh, australia yeah, 24 hours so you'd yeah. have to do that for 24 hours just like sit there pretty much yep yeah. pretty much have you got anything in there there do you want to just quickly um 50 percent you may as well because i'm at 92 percent so i'm just going to take it because my i'm okay i'm full up on on mine so i may as well just fill this up take it do you want me to stop or do you want me to keep going no you carry on i'm all good okay won't take long to get to 100 anyway there we go i'm at 100 sound so i'll go dump this we're doing really well for yield in fact you know this could be the biggest harvest i've actually done on fs22 seriously yeah the most grain like picked up because normally i don't do fields this size especially on my own and, and i and i prefer single player i always have in any game that's not just farming sim in just all games i am a single single player style kind of you know gamer yeah. uh, a bit of a loner like my own company um mm -hmm. so yeah I, I don't really do much multiplayer um so yeah i've never really tried to attempt to feel like it's just because i know it's going to take well if we were using a normal size header and harvester that i use which is what 10 meters something like and then i was doing it on my own it probably take me about six hours to do that harvest blimey how long and, do you think it's taking us um looking at the time i've been recording it's taken us about i'd say about 30 40 minutes to do this Seriously? so far yeah it does so, not feel that long at all i thought no, you were gonna say we, like 15 minutes we've been recording for an hour and 45 what 
You're having me on. <laughs> I'm not. What? What? <laughs> I don't feel like it. Well, it is. I promise well, you, it is. Time flies when you're having fun, eh? Exactly. It's nice to share. I've said this before. I've even replied to a few comments of people saying, you know, that you do really well and stuff like that. And, I, and oh. I've, I've been honest that I, I feel privileged to, to play this game with you. Share this. Because a lot of people, you know, don't have a girlfriend or, you know, missus, whatever you want to say. say. Fiance that uh, will video game with them. So I, I do feel privileged to, to, to play this with you. And especially with me doing content, it is a big part of my life and I spend a lot of hours. So you, you playing and sharing it with me, you know, is good because I can kind of, you can see what, why and how and all that stuff and what I'm doing and, you know, get the bigger picture of it all. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm the one who should feel privileged because you let me into your little bubble and, you know, I mean, I'd hope you trust me anyway, but obviously, you know, you trusted me to to be a part of this and I really appreciate it and just enjoy the fact that, you know, we get to chill and spend this extra bit of time together. Yeah, exactly. It's good. It's good for us. And, uh, like, yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's nice this... to play multiplayer as well, but yeah. it's, it, it's nice to try these new things for me, like big fields like this, American style map. This is new to me. Because, you know, you need to play on your own or you need a lot of free time. Um, mm. it, with me recording content, I have to think about time and how long the video is going to be. So for me to do a harvest like this, even on a time lapse, I'm going to have to do big jump yeah. cuts. Because it's I'm just going to take... as well. Exactly, you know, yeah, it work. all takes some time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, you know I don't have as much sleep as I probably should anyway, but no. if I was doing maps like this <laughs> on my own, I'd, oh, I'd pretty much, you'd have I've to peel me off you. this chair. <laughs> Literally. But to be fair, it's also nice as well, because I know, like, when you disappear upstairs for so long, like, what's going on? But it almost feels like a bit of a, a date night, in a way. Ooh, Ooh date, date night. night! Date night, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't actually got that. I need to get that on my stream deck. I haven't got it. I think so. I, I think know. that's an appropriate one. Yeah. You cheeky bugger. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with my half. Right, well, there's a little bit down here if you want to do it, and I can worry about uh, emptying the harvesters. Yeah, sure. So I'll, I'll go... In fact, I'll, I'll let you... No, it's, it's still going to take two passes to do this bit, so... I'll tell you what I'll do. I will branch off. I'll let you finish this harvest up. I will make sure that um, I'm unloading everything okay. into, the, yeah. into the bin. That probably makes more sense. Right, so the final bit, Beanie, this has been a massive field. I'm intrigued to see what our final yields will be, but it's definitely going to be a fair one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was a massive field, so hopefully. Do you think we've hit the 100,000 litres? Oh, yeah, we did that ages ago. Definitely. I did, we. Uh, yeah, is that everything out? Are you, are you empty? Yeah. Okay. I, I like am that. empty. That's that, then. I'll uh, take this back, tip it in. In fact, do you know what would be the perfect way to end this episode? Oh, God. <laughs> what? what? What do you want me to do now? <laughs> do you not want to have a go? Yeah, I'll have a go. Right, I want you to reverse this trailer to the tip trigger. What? Oh, oh yeah, okay. I can, I can do that. You can do it. Come on. Confidence is key. You can do it if you really want you can do it if you be in... Oh, yeah. Everyone's really now bad. hearing you sing in the video, by the way. And I'm definitely not cutting that out. You should do. No. Why not? Because <laughs> it's funny. There's so many things that you say, though, and I have to try so hard to stop myself singing. I don't know what it is, but it's like... I don't know. Tourette's. Just... Probably. Yeah, probably. Anyway, come on. This this trailer, this uh, 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 blah, this truck here, this Mack truck. You need to jump into that for me, and I want you to move and actually reverse in, okay? So when you're in it, I'll, I'll show you what I want you to do. So imagine you're in it then. Yep. This one. Right, just yeah. before you go, just imagine this is the truck, front end. You move forward like this, and then from yeah. here, you reverse backwards, and the back of your truck's got to hit this. Just not hit it, but you know what I mean. Just until you get the trigger pop up. 
Okay. So let's get into Yay. flight mode, and I'll get some jelly beans so I can sit and watch <laughs> this with Joey. Yeah, you should have got you some popcorn. <laughs> well, we can make popcorn, but yeah. I'm Where are my jelly beans? If I have my jelly beans. <laughs> no, I've got my okay. jelly beans. Okay. I thought you had midget gems, but... And they might have gone by now. Ah, uh, fair play. Oh, right. Oh. Whoa. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, slow. That's it. Slow Perfect. And steady wins the race. Uh, how's that lining up? You you're doing really well there. If you try and straighten it up now, go the other way. Yeah. You should be spot on. Yeah. Hey, right back, why? There you go. Well done. You got that. Is it? Not too bad. I mean, no. just straighten up a little bit. It makes it, it makes it easy for yourself. That's the only bit of advice I can give you there. When you're here, like, and you, you're facing this way, if you kind of just went back here, then yeah. locked it and went straight, then you, all you've got to do then is just reverse straight. Um, and then you wouldn't have finished on that angle that you've done now, which is like, where you, you know, even the trailer straight, you're facing this way. I mean, easier pull out. Unless you wanted to go right. <laughs> you just do a quick check around the silos. <laughs> okay, there you go then. Spot on. Sorted. Right, so I'll have a look quickly at what we got for yield. I think we must have done all right. Okay. We got 267,000 litres. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, and if we sell that at the right time, we'll get a quarter of a million pound. Yes, please. I know. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, yeah, Definitely I'm happy not. with that. I think we did really well. We've obviously used some big harvesters, done some baling, learned, you know, about the the hay side of things because you've done that pretty much from start to finish. I know in this video we've only just done the, the baling side of it and I've done some rowing. But we did yeah. quite a lot, I think. And uh, next episode, we'll probably work on either doing some corn and drying that in productions, um, or we'll we'll start doing some animal work when we've got some grass silage. Because I think now we've got the hay, we just need to do a bit of grass silage. So I can show you wrapping bales and stuff like that and fermenting. Nice. Some more like silage. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah, silage. Uh, it's unfortunate because if we're using the Maze Plus mod, we could do maize silage in fact we might on some mats even be able to do alfalfa silage but on this one we can only do alfalfa hay uh because we you know that would do the job and then we've already got an alfalfa field so we could do some alfalfa hay and then the next cut we could do alfalfa silage and then we'd have the basic ingredients to to feed our animals because we need some hay and we need some some silage to do that yeah okay so i think on that note we should leave the video there it's been a good one and we've been recording for just about to hit two hours so we're a couple of minutes off two hours uh, i know there's a bit of a time lapse in there but it's definitely going to be a longer one than last time so hopefully everyone enjoyed it and uh if you do give it a thumbs up for me um subscribe to the channel if you're new you want to say anything being on the way out um thanks for watching and thanks for having me again scraft i'm really enjoying this with you no problem thanks uh thanks for joining honestly of course See you in a bit, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.